Hi, this is Chad Newsom from PL Custom Emergency Vehicles, back again to share more information with you regarding our production process. Today we're going to finish up the two-part section regarding metals processing. The other day we touched on engineering, body frames, and our water jet. Now let's get back to it. Our electronic press brake, or e-brake, helps us to bend and shape the metal we cut on our water jet to create our custom compartments, trays, and doors. Here we have a compartment being folded from the flat sheet metal stage. The top and bottom will have a small lip folded to affix the compartment top and bottom. The sides are folded to create the three walls. Here we have another compartment being welded and completed. You can see this is labeled as an E compartment, along with the job number and date. The completed compartments for each vehicle are placed on a pallet to await installation. Our side entrance steps are also made at this stage from sheet metal and diamond plate cut earlier on the water jet. Custom templates are used to assure each stepwell model is consistent and fits snug into the ambulance body when it's installed. The durability of these steps is imperative due to the high traffic area they will be in, so extra precautions are taken to ensure accuracy and stability. Here we can see a completed stepwell fitting into the template. The space to the left will be recessed storage at the head of the squad bench for oxygen bottles. Floor mats are added to interior step areas. All side, rear, and compartment doors are constructed in-house. Aluminum extrusions start out full size, but are cut down to the specs of the particular door needed. Notches are drilled for handle hardware and locking components. Sheet metal from the water jet is shaped on the e-brake, then welded in place with the extrusions. Corner supports are added and also welded into place. For this rear entrance door, upper and lower impact rails are welded in place before Loctite structural adhesive is added around the edges to add strength and create a durable bond. The doors will then be installed and finished. With all the appropriate pieces fabricated, we meet the body frame again to affix the aluminum skins and interlocking extruded aluminum corners. Fully welded upper ball corners add protection and strength to the body. Our completed compartments are now welded in place which concludes this step in the ambulance body construction. Check back for more video content on other important steps in the PL Custom Emergency Vehicles manufacturing process.